Hi, I'm Linwin Francis. My name is Julie Thomas. My name is Mariel. My name is Dr. Owen Thomas. I'm Gareth Lewis. I'm Lynn Williams. My name is Lynette Evans. So care and repair are ideally situated to support the individuals within the Ronda in which I work to ensure that they get the adaptations and the support they need to improve their home environment. We're currently working in partnership with Care and Repair with the Enabling Scheme, Safety at Home and the Rapid Response Scheme. So one of the projects that we're working with Care and Repair for at the moment is the Virtual Ward. The Virtual Ward is designed to try and outreach to difficult to reach patients, the elderly, the vulnerable, people with a lot of complex comorbidity that find it very difficult to come down to the surgery. I work with Care and Repair um, for the last four years. It was established that there was a gap in the market to help elderly and there was some funding available via Care and Repair. So they work jointly with our housing strategy department to set up the housing energy officer. Care and Repair help us in our discharge process from hospital to home. They receive referrals from ourselves and are very proactive in the way they work. We at the Alzheimer's Society know that we can't support individuals solely on our own. That's why using outside organisations and agencies is crucial to us. It really is a very much a working relationship, a good partnership, and we're all there for one another with exactly the same aim of helping older people. The care and repair have been invaluable in providing this element to the service, and hopefully we can prevent social problems from becoming medical problems. And it's lovely to have this agency that we can refer to when it's more physical environment rather than a medical problem. Actually having everybody sitting around together, working together and directing resources is not only better for the patient and better for us, but it also is much more efficient for how the healthcare spends its money going forward. So the benefits of working in partnership with Care and Repair is to have a speedy response. We also look at their tariffs to save money on their gas and electricity because in the economic climate that we're in at the moment, money is very precious. By improving the social care, by improving the patient well-being, we get better engagement. We get better engagement, we get better disease outcomes, which means that the patient is treated better. They engage more. Patients can now go in their garden and you know, go just potter around, just go for a little walk in their garden, whereas before they could only look through the window because there was no ramp or there's no stair. And we also get to see them more on a, a human level. So we're not just assessing them now from a, a medical point of view. We're seeing them from all the social aspects and other things that can be done to make life better. And actually we're seeing perhaps that they're impacting less on the GP practice because we're not needing to see them as much. Therefore our projects may be small, but they are vital to that person staying at home and being well. We've got somebody who's um, had cancer herself, so she's unable to bath her husband anymore, and he's got dementia. So they're going in and looking at shower rooms and that'll change their lives. You know, it's just out of this world for patients. It's for people who are lonely and isolated within their own worlds, the care and care service is absolutely vital to help people go forward positively in their lives. I think the benefits for the service users are immense because we do medicalise everything, whereas sometimes it isn't about that, it's about their dignity or about the fact that they can't have a shower and, you know, it's important to them. Um, and to get those little things sorted for them changes their lives. Good job, it's a... From the top, the girl professional, Alan, isn't it?